Hey there guys! So a little while ago I was like, hey, I've moved home and I've put my bookshelf back together and I was talking about how it's three crates high and all this stuff and how I don't have all my books in this room obviously right now I have far too many books so I just have this one bookshelf but I have a lot of my physical TBR books on this bookshelf plus my favorites and I kind of said on a whim in that video I should do a bookshelf store and show you guys and then I was thinking hey you know what I should actually do do my first bookshelf tour ever so guess what we're doing today guys bookshelf tour so this is about the view of my bookshelf that you usually see but here's what I was talking about with the crates these go up all the way and yes that is my ceiling and there's also so these two shelves down here so generally I'm right behind these so we've got one two three four five ish shelves and then three crates to go through I'm not gonna go through all these because some of them, like this one for instance, is my Pendragon box, which you've already seen a bunch of, but I will mention them as we go down and you can see some of the books that I have on my to be read list as well as some of the books that I choose to keep in my room because I read them all the time. So we're going to start with this top one up here and I apologize for the really wacky camera angle. But um, this is about how it's going to work because it's really high up there and I have to literally get on a chair to see how this is going to go. We are starting up here because this is literally just my box of it didn't fit anywhere else. There's a little bit more of a method to a madness as I go down. So this first book is Rivington Was Ours, Lady Gaga and the Lower East Side and the Prime of Our Lives by Brendan J. Sullivan. Figures in Silk by Venora Bennett. The Queen's Pawn by Christy English. A Reliable Wife by Robert Gulrick. Nemesis by Lindsay Davis. Vienna Waltz by Teresa Grant. The Love Song of Johnny Valentine, a novel by Teddy Wayne. Fadoki by Kiz Johnson. Chime by Franny Billingsley. Fingerprints of You by Kristen Page Madonia. Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robert Wasserman. The Book of Dragons by E. Nesbitt. The Finisher by David Baldacci. And I actually have read these two, but there's Don Metcalf's Invisible and Lev Grossman's The Magician King. And then the three books that were up in the front our Valiant, Tithe, and Ironside by Holly Black. I have these all signed, but I have yet to read them. This shelf right here is my Pendragon shelf, or box really, so I'm not going to go through all those. You can just know that it's all of the books in the Pendragon series by DJ McHale. If you are interested in those at all, please do check out the Nostalgia Junkie series that Kim Kayla, Casey, and I did because we read every single one and talked about it in book club style. So that was really, really cool. Similarly, the crate right below it is all of my Tamora Pierce books. So my Alana series is here. This is the one book I have in the Realm of the Gods series. I have all three Becca Cooper books, but they're just not here. Um, Will of the Empress, Melting Stones, the first or the last trickster book, uh, the Kel series, this is the first quartet in the Circle of Magic series, and the one you can't see is the second quartet. Um, not gonna go through them all, because if you watch this channel or have read my blog by now, you know that I own them all and I love them all, and they are very, very dear to me. This is a kind of weird section of my shelf. It's kind of where I put things that don't fit other places, but for a very specific reason. These are books that I either really need or want to read or I'm using for book club later on this year. And so, for example, Invisible Fault Lines by Kristen Page Madonia, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, Dreams of God and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. This is my Kindle. Surprise! Oh, it's dead. That's sad. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, The Star Touched Queen by Roshani Chosky, the Mirror King by Jody Meadows. So there you have it. 
book club over here, recent acquisitions over here, the Mirror King is about to get moved down to the next shelf, and you'll see why in a hot second, but yeah, recent acquisitions, book club. So this shelf right here is 99% books I've already read, and actually a lot of them you've seen reviewed on the blog, so I don't want to spend too much time here, um, but I'll just say really briefly that the shadowy corner over here is Serafina and Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman, Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, The Wrath and the Dawn and the Rose and the Dagger by Renea Dia, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, Dark Triumph by Robin Lefevers, um, which I actually haven't read yet, so hopefully you'll be seeing this book very soon. Bracing by Kristen Cashore, Poison by Bridget Zinn, The Falconer by Elizabeth May, Guilt by Catherine Longshore, The Orphan Queen by Jodie Meadows, which is why the Mirror King needs to come down here, Paranormalcy by Kirsten White, Fiery Heart and the Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead, Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins, and Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. And this shelf is kind of annoying to me because like I have all of these books, I have a bunch more of Kirsten Cashore's books, I have the whole Paranormalcy series, and I have a bunch of Rochelle Mead's books and the whole Sweet Evil series, but they are not in this room right now, so I don't have them here. So this is just like a showcase of some of my favorite authors and titles, or just books for my thesis that got stuck here. <laughs> Once again, we have more of a shelf of favorites or things that didn't fit anywhere else, and you can probably guess that by the fact that all of my Sarah J Mass books are here. Um, so you can probably recognize those right off the bat, but over here is also Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I haven't read Glass Sword yet, so you'll see that soon. City of Heavenly Fire and Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Seeker by R1 Ellis Dayton, which I wish it wasn't on the shelf, but it's where it fit. Um, Mermaids and Other Mysteries of the Deep and After. These are two short story anthologies that Taylor and I joint reviewed earlier this year. Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. An Ember in the Ashens by Sabah Tahir. Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, A Court of Thorns and Roses, and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. My babies, all in hardcover, God. I will never travel. I will probably take these to Korea, for God's sake. And then, bringing up the corner here is The Invasion of the Tearling and Queen of the Tearling, unfortunately in reverse order because that's how they fit. I still haven't read Invasion of the Tearling. I hope to do that very, very soon. Alright, life is back to being interesting now because we are back to shelves that I have mostly not read any of the books on them. Again, some of these books end up on these shelves because it's the only place they fit because all these shelves are different sizes, but I haven't read most of these and um, yeah, so here we go. The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Behind My Eyes by Lee Young Lee. This is actually a poetry collection that you'll see for my Pop Sugar Challenge later on this year. The Peculiars by Maureen Doyle McQuery. This is an old ARC copy that I still haven't read. The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. Made of Secrets and Made of Deception by Jennifer McGowan. I have read Made of Secrets, but Made of Deception should be coming shortly. And unfortunately, I have two separate covers of them, which is sad, but here we are. Level 2 by Lenore Applehands. I hear this actually has a new title since I first bought this book but I have this version. Anti-Goddess by Kendar Blake. Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan. Team Human by Justine Larbastier and Sarah Reese Brennan. Dueled by Elise Chapman. And I do have the second book in this series in ARC form, actually, but e-copy. Chantress Alchemy by Amy Butler Greenfield. School Spirits by Rachel Hawkins. Origin by Jessica Corey. Carnival of Souls by Melissa Marr. Starling by Leslie Livingston. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Cleopatra Confesses by Carolyn Meyer. Black City by Elizabeth Richards. This is The Buried Giant by Kazuo Shiguro, which I've already read, but I figured I'd show it to you. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Changeling by Philippa Gregory. And Firebrand by Marion Zimmer Bradley. 
All right, guys, so this is my last shelf here, and it's a bunch of really random stuff. Like, half of it is realistic fiction, half of it is historical fiction. It's just odd. So I'm just going to get started, and like I said, most of this is stuff I haven't read before, so we'll just get going. Privilege of the Sword by Ellen Kushner. Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. Blood Magic by Tessa Gratton. Lo the Lost Son by Tessa Gratton. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. The Winner's Curse by Marie Witkowski. Over You by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krause. Altered by Jennifer Albin. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. The Unnaturalist by Tiffany Trent. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neffenegger. The Alchemist Council by Cynthia Masson. Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. The Egyptologist by Arthur Phillips. Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. The Kingmaker's Daughter by Philippa Gregory. The Thirteenth Continuum by Jessica Brody. Madame Tussaud by Michelle Morin. And this corner over here is actually historical fiction books I've already read before. So this is um, Nefertiti and the Heretic Queen by Michelle Moran. And then The Twentieth Wife and Feast of Roses by Indu Sundarison. So you've actually seen these either on the blog before or reviewed. I just did a review of Twentieth Wife in January. So yeah, that is this shelf down here. So there you have it, guys. That is the bookshelf that I am always in front of when I make my videos. I hope you have enjoyed this very haphazard little bookshelf tour. And if you have read any of these and think that I should move them up my to-be-read list, or if you are going to read them yourself, please let me know. Let's talk about them. And um, if you have any tips for better organization, let me know. Obviously, I can't organize to save my life. Need to remember to charge my Kindle. See you later, guys.